Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the realm of seafood to uncover the top choices for a healthy diet. Fish is renowned for its numerous health benefits, including being an excellent source of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. However, not all fish are created equal when it comes to nutritional value. So, let's explore 6 of the healthiest fish to include in your diet and 6 to avoid for optimal well-being. 1. Albacore tuna, troll or pole caught, from the US or British Columbia. Many tuna are high in mercury but albacore tuna the kind of white tuna that's commonly canned gets a super green rating as long as, and this is the clincher, it is, troll or pole caught in the US or British Columbia. The reason, smaller, usually less than 20 pounds, younger fish are typically caught this way, as opposed to the larger fish caught on long lines. These fish have much lower mercury and contaminant ratings and those caught in colder northern waters often have higher omega-3 counts. 2. Salmon, wild caught, Alaska. To give you an idea of how well-managed Alaska's salmon fishery is, consider this, biologists are posted at river mouths to count how many wild fish return to spawn. If the numbers begin to dwindle, the fishery is closed before it reaches its limits, as was done recently with some Chinook fisheries. This close monitoring, along with strict quotas and careful management of water quality, means Alaska's wild-caught salmon are both healthier, they pack 1,210 mg of omega-3s per 3-ounce serving and carry few contaminants. And more sustainable than just about any other salmon fishery. 3. Oysters, farmed. Farmed oysters are good for you, a 3-ounce serving contains over 300 mg of omega-3s and about a third of the recommended daily values of iron. Better yet, they are actually good for the environment. Oysters feed off the natural nutrients and algae in the water, which improves water quality. They can also act as natural reefs, attracting and providing food for other fish. One health caveat, raw shellfish, especially those from warm waters, may contain bacteria that can cause illnesses. 4. Sardines, Pacific, Wild Caught. The tiny, inexpensive sardine is making it onto many lists of superfoods and for good reason. It packs more omega-3s, 1,950 mg, per 3-ounce serving than salmon, tuna, or just about any other food. It's also one of the very, very few foods that's naturally high in vitamin D. Many fish in the herring family are commonly called sardines. Quick to reproduce, Pacific sardines have rebounded from both overfishing and a natural collapse in the 1940s. 5. Rainbow Trout Farmed Though lake trout are high in contaminants, nearly all the trout you will find in the market is farmed rainbow trout. In the US, rainbow trout are farmed primarily in freshwater ponds and raceways where they are more protected from contaminants and fed a fish meal diet that has been fine-tuned to conserve resources. 6. Freshwater coho salmon, farmed in tank systems, from the US. Freshwater coho salmon is the first and only farmed salmon to get a super green rating. All other farmed salmon still falls on Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch avoid list for a few reasons. Many farms use crowded pens where salmon are easily infected with parasites, may be treated with antibiotics, and can spread disease to wild fish, one reason Alaska has banned salmon farms. Also, it can take as much as 3 pounds of wild fish to raise 1 pound of salmon. Coho, however, are raised in closed freshwater pens and require less feed, so the environmental impacts are reduced. They're also a healthy source of omega-3s, one 3-ounce serving delivers 1,025 mg. Now, let's turn our attention to six fish varieties that you might want to avoid or consume in moderation due to potential health concerns. 1. Bluefin Tuna In December 2009, the World Wildlife Fund put the bluefin tuna on its 10 for 2010 list of threatened species, alongside the giant panda, tigers, and leatherback turtles. Though environmental groups are advocating for protected status, the bluefin continues to command as much as $177,000 a fish. Bluefin have high levels of mercury and their PCBs are so high that EDF recommends not eating this fish at all. 2. Chilean sea bass, aka Patagonian toothfish. Slow growing and prized for its buttery meat, Chilean sea bass has been fished to near depletion in its native cold Antarctic waters. The methods used to catch them trawlers and long lines have also damaged the ocean floor and hooked albatross and other seabirds. At present, there is one well-managed fishery that is MSC certified. EDF has issued a consumption advisory for Chilean sea bass due to high mercury levels. Adults should eat no more than two meals per month and children 12 and younger should eat it no more than once a month. 3. Grouper. High mercury levels in these giant fish have caused EDF to issue a consumption advisory. Groupers can live to be 40 but only reproduce over a short amount of time, making them vulnerable to overfishing. 4. Monkfish. This strange fish resembles a catfish in that it has whiskers and is a bottom dweller, but its light, fresh taste made it a staple for gourmets. The fish is recovering some after being depleted, but the trawlers that drag for it also threaten the habitat where it lives. 5. Orange Ruffy. 
Like grouper, this fish lives a long life but is slow to reproduce, making it vulnerable to overfishing. As Seafood Watch puts it, Orange Ruffy lives 100 years or more so the fillet in your freezer might be from a fish older than your grandmother. This also means it has high levels of mercury, causing EDF to issue a health advisory. 6. Salmon, farmed. Most farmed salmon, and all salmon labeled Atlantic salmon, is farmed, are raised in tightly packed, open net pens often rife with parasites and diseases that threaten the wild salmon trying to swim by to their ancestral spawning waters. Farmed salmon are fed fish meal, given antibiotics to combat diseases and have levels of PCBs high enough to rate a health advisory from EDF. Recently, however, freshwater farmed coho salmon have earned a best choice status from Seafood Watch. Consumer pressure may encourage more farms to adopt better practices. In conclusion, when it comes to choosing fish for optimal health, prioritize varieties that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and essential nutrients while being mindful of potential contaminants like mercury. Incorporating a diverse selection of fish into your diet can provide a multitude of health benefits and contribute to overall well-being. Remember to enjoy seafood as part of a balanced diet and make informed choices to support your health goals. That wraps up our guide to the top 6 healthiest fish to eat and 6 to avoid for optimal well-being. We hope you found this information helpful in making informed decisions about incorporating seafood into your diet. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, stay healthy and happy.